Good morning, and welcome to the celebration of this Junior Ring Mass and Ceremony. Today, we gather to raise up everything that connects us to one another at Villa Duchenne. As we call these things to mind, we sit in awe of the support and challenge we receive from the Sacred Heart family. We, juniors, are proud to be a part of the Villa Duchenne story and accept the responsibility that comes with wearing the school ring. Together, we reflect Cor Unum, one heart, as we continue this meaningful tradition. As we move through the season of Easter, we are immersed in the message of hope and promise of new life in the resurrection of Jesus. In this Easter season, we are called to radiate the light of Christ in our living at Villa Duchenne in our families, in our neighborhoods, and in our world. Let us be witnesses to this light today and spread it in all we do. It is our hope that we, the class of 2025, might stand in solidarity with each other, radiating hope, joy, and love of God. We encourage everyone to fully participate in today's Mass by following along with the songs, readings, and responses found in your worship aid. Please stand and join in singing our gathering song, 10,000 Reasons. of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May God's grace, peace, and Easter joy be with you. Good morning, Villa Duchenne. Now come on, I've heard you guys at lunch, huh? And in the hallways. Good morning, Villa Duchenne. That's much better. Uh, my name is Father Oscar. Let me introduce myself because otherwise we'll spend the rest of the Mass. Catholics in St. Louis will spend the rest of the Mass saying, all right, I've seen this guy, and I think I know, and then we won't participate in the Mass. So my name is Father Oscar Vasquez. I'm a Marianist priest. I currently reside at Our Lady the Pillar, and I work for the congregation, and I get to visit 17, 18 high schools across the United States that are Marianist, and uh, three universities, and uh, three parishes, and four retreat centers. So I get to do all the fun things, I'd like to say. The important thing is that several of the young uh, women in the class of 2025 are members of Our Lady of the Pillar Parish, so I'm very happy to be here to celebrate with you. Today, in case you're wondering, we're going to follow uh, the very Easter readings, but we're going to use the prayers for St. Rose Philippine Duchenne, very appropriate for us. So as we begin this sacred Eucharist, we, our Mass intention will be for the girls of the class of 2025 as they begin this new adventure towards leadership of Villa Duchenne and the senior year and what comes after. And yet, girls, we realize that none of us is perfect, that along the way we fall from time to time, and that we need God's mercy, forgiveness, and most important, support. So we say, Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Help us to be people of peace and reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to feed the hungry. Help us to strengthen and nourish one another. 
as classmates of the class of 2025. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to show us the way. Help us, the class of 2025, to always follow in your footsteps and in the footsteps of faith that our parents have taught us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. for St. Rose Philippine Duchenne. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, you fill the heart of Philippine Duchenne with charity and missionary zeal and gave her the desire to make you known among all peoples. Fill us who honor her today with the same love and zeal to extend your kingdom to the ends of the earth. And we ask our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And let's be seated and listen to God's holy word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind. And no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day. 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord. Our God is good, whose love endures forever. Let all the children of Israel say, God's love endures forever. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world? but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. of the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. 
and the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord, but he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, <coughs> Excuse me, Put your fingers here and see my hands. Bring your hands and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe. That Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. For our salvation, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So a little uh, explanation. You may have seen me depart from the altar during the Alleluia. There was a moment of... Um, Panic, I'm going to use the word. Uh, my homily uh, was not here. And I said, I know I'd, I put it out there. Well, it turns out I left it in the back. But um, it was either going to be the world's shortest homily or the world's longest homily because I was be going from memory. And that's not always the best of situations. Uh, when I was in the car, I had my first little panic because I have a, another mass after this. And that's the funeral mass. So I made sure I had two very distinct homilies. And I just wanted to make sure I brought the right one inside. So this is the right one. Greetings to each of you. Congratulations to the girls on reaching this specific and special day. It's like the day you've been waiting for for a long time. A day that you've been preparing for. But it is important to note that there are many more special days to come. To the parents and families, congratulations for you helped to make this a reality. You've been the chauffeur, the cook, the cleaner, and all the other wonderful gifts that come along with being a parent. But what's most important to all of us is like the old movie, and I never thought I would call the Blues Brothers an old movie, but it said very one clear line in the middle of that movie. It says, and we are on a mission from God. And girls, that's the mission you've been on and that your parents have been on these many years. To the girls, this is one of the first of the rituals that began a year of leadership at Villa Duchenne. In a sense, it is what you have been preparing for all these years. I'm thankful to the planning committee for the invitation to preside at this Eucharist. For sure, it is a special day for each one of you and a special day for Villa. Because as much as this is a celebration for the class of 2025, I came to understand during my time of leadership that this is, most importantly, Villa's celebration of the Junior Ring Day. Girls, you've already started on a firm foundation, foundation set by your parents. You are beginning this year before God and asking God to be with you. 
Note the first reading. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they held everything in common. Girls, the planning committee in your name is setting a challenge to yourselves as a class to lead all of Villa Duchenne and to follow as the disciples did after the resurrection. You are challenging yourselves to accept one another, to support one another, and in the spirit of the Sisters of the Sacred Heart, to truly share your gifts with the community and with one another. You also say that, that it, well, as in scripture, that you want to bear witness to all that is special and, and important about Villa. In the years that you have been here at Villa, you have experienced many different graduating classes. I encourage you to take the good from each and make it your own. For many years, I had the blessing of being the chaplain at Chaminade College Prep. And there's one class that always sticks out in my mind. I won't tell you the, the, the year, but at the very beginning, they, I don't know if they got together or if it was just something that was, uh, what's the word, by osmosis. But after each class, not every student, but some, most, would come up and say to the teacher, thank you. I remember that. And I will always remember, and when I see those guys, I tell them, thank you. So girls, decide what it is that you want your class to be remembered for and start doing it today. I think it's called goal one. Is that the right way, the way we, we refer that? Take, the, uh, take to heart from that uh, goal one, from the Villa mission, that says, we believe that we are transformational. Education is made even stronger when a student truly knows and embraces God's gifts. Celebrate God's gifts. Say thank you to God because everything that you do, whether you're playing field hockey, field hockey basketball, volleyball, softball, track, cross country, those are gifts that were given to you by God. So accept them in all humility and put them forward. Please accept the gifts that God has given you and use them for the good. Celebrate the gifts that your of your class and once again use those for the good. Please, please, please avoid the ways of the world that's the ways of our world that seek to bring people down or to ridicule them. Use technology for the good. Learn the ways of Villa that stayed. Have faith. Seek to understand. Build community. Ask hard questions. And look beyond. In many ways, all of these values are contrary to what the secular world ignore, uh, well, what the well, let's just say it, contrary to the secular world. Or sometimes the secular world doesn't understand the way of faith. Note that the second value is seek to understand. In other words, don't just disagree, but try to understand what the other person is saying. That will help to bring a conversation about. Use this time at Villa to strengthen your faith, the faith that your parents have taught you at home. Know that God is here with us every day. There is a, a song in Christian worship that says we are on holy ground. And girls, I firmly believe that we here at Villa Duchenne are on holy ground. Holy ground because of the work of the sisters and the dedicated faculty and staff, but holy ground because you are here. I don't want to be naive. The scripture also tells us that there will be difficult days in the year to come. There will be days when we win and days when we lose. Yet in the midst of those moments, we must remember that God is there to accompany us, to support us, to love us, and yes, sometimes even kick us in the side, to challenge us. Now girls, you know, you're gonna, sometimes you may find this hard to believe, 
That's another reason that your parents sometimes have to remind you and remind you and remind you of certain things. A number of years ago, girls, you're going to love this story. I came to St. Louis, but I had been at our school in, uh, in Texas for several years, and uh, I was assigned to one of our summer camps that we run in Texas. It's a leadership development camp which still exists, and at that time there were several girls' schools from St. Louis that sent students. One of the moderators, in other words, one of the adults, um, was a student in college from St. Louis, so I grew to know her. And over the years, we came in contact at several different times. And she always had stories about her mom. They were always, well, the stories that girls sometimes uh, say about their moms when they don't agree. Flash forward a number of years, she's married, has three children, and after the first children, uh, the first child, six, eight months, nine months down the road, and she called up and I answered my cell phone and she said, and starts laughing right away. And I said, what's going on? And she said, I've become my mother. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, well, all those things I used to complain about are things that I have now as a mom come to understand why she would bring those to my attention. So girls, be patient with all of us uh, older folks uh, because we are uh, supposed to remind you along the way, but we're also helped, supposed to encourage you along the way. So as you begin this year of blessings and opportunities, let us all pray for God's blessings on each and every one of the members of the class of 2025. That is, when we come to May of 2025, May we say it was a wonderful year and we look forward to the next opportunity and blessing. And may God continue to bless us as we continue with our Eucharist. And please stand as we bring our prayers and our petitions before our loving God. Please respond after each petition, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that in this Easter season of resurrection and hope, she might be a radiant sign of life for all people of the world, especially those in countries throughout the world experiencing war and destruction. We pray to the Lord. For our country, that justice will roll like a river and peace will fill the hearts of those who are in need of comfort and joy. In a particular way, we lift up the men and women serving in the armed forces and all veterans. We pray to the Lord. For our second grade brothers and sisters and this Sacred Heart family, who will receive their first Holy Communion tomorrow, that they may cherish this sacrament and feel the love of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. For the junior class who will receive their rings today, that we will be especially mindful of the mission of the Society of the Sacred Heart to discover and reveal the love of God and all that the ring stands for. We pray to the Lord. For the work of the junior class in promoting justice for all, may we continue to uphold the work of social action with hearts and minds informed by the moral teachings of our church. We pray to the Lord. For those who teach, especially the Sacred Heart educators at Villa Duchenne, for, for all who share the love of the heart of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. For those who are in need of renewal spirit after illness or surgery, especially the mother-in-law of Mr. Powell, the son of Mrs. Gunn, and the grandfather of Grace Crager, and for all those in need of our prayers. We pray to the Lord. 
And finally, we pray for those who have died and those who mourn them. Today, we especially remember the fathers of Macy Holt, Grace Gorey, and Grace Krager, the mother of Apa Harper, and the grandmother of Reagan Gem, those whose names are on our intention board in the chapel vestibule, and for the loved ones of our Sacred Heart family who are rejoicing in heaven with Jesus. We pray to the Lord. And today as we celebrate the class of 2025, let's also pray for the class of 2024 as they wind their way to the end. God's blessings upon them for good decisions, good choices as they come to the end of their high school experience. We pray to the Lord. Lord God of all creation, we give you thanks for the many ways that you bless the Villa Duchenne community. Please hear our prayers, those that we say out loud and those that remain with our heart, within our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated as we prepare the altar. Good job, girls. As we bring our gifts to the altar, Lord God, we beg of you, fire us with the burning zeal which consumed Philip and Duchenne, that we might celebrate these mysteries with pure and undivided hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Oh, folks, a little more energy there. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Excellent. Um, I'm going to use a Eucharistic prayer that I think speaks to the uh, values of the Sisters of the Sacred Heart and Villa Duchenne. Uh, afterwards, you can let me know if you agree. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let's lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And we give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. Jesus always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world 
that you are our Father and that you care for all your daughters and sons. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your holy name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who loves the human race, and who always walks with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit, to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the, on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and he said the blessing. He broke the bread and he offered it to his disciples, saying to them, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and he gave you thanks and praise, and he offered that chalice to his friends. And he said to them, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, with the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Mitchell, our Bishop, the clergy, and the people of God. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. In a special way, we remember those names that were before, uh, this morning, those uh, relatives of the class of 2025 who have gone before us. Of visitation and the visit, uh, sisters of the Sacred Heart of Villa and the sisters of the Sacred Heart. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Rose Philippine Duchenne, and Madeline Sophia, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we pray together, Our Father. Deliver us, God, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us the peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, that we may be always free from sin and safe from all that worries us, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, become what you receive, the body of Christ.
At this time, we bless the school rings, which will be distributed to the junior class. First, I'd like to ask all Sacred Heart alums to be uh, present to, to stand. Sacred Heart alums, whatever part of the Sacred Heart family you are. So, thank you. And girls, you see that you continue in a rich tradition of schools of the Sacred Heart. Class of 2025, and you can remain standing because I want to ask everybody else to stand, okay? <clears throat> Class of 2025, when you receive your rings, you will be connected in the most special uh, and particular way to all of these who are standing. With the image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary on the ring, your rings show the world that you are part of the rich Sacred Heart family embracing the hearts, the flames, and the wounds, and yet connected in love. I invite everyone stand, uh, everyone present to please stand. And if you are comfortable, I invite you to, jo uh, to lift your right hand and join me in this blessing. May these Villa Duchenne class rings serve as symbols of unity love, pride, growth, and connection to all those who wear them. The ring is a constant reminder of the circle that is drawn around all of these young women, symbolically joining them to one another. In the years to come, when this school, the Sacred Heart Educators, and the Day to, Li day to Life have become memories, may this ring stand as a symbol of the ways in which each of these young women discovered and revealed their heart to G of Jesus, the love of God and the wisdom of the Spirit. We make this prayer in the name of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and all together we say, amen. Uh, Now, folks, it's, we've been waiting for this moment for a long time. That amen has to be a lot of more, uh, with a lot more gusto. We make this prayer in the name of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, as together we say, and we have really uh, put water, the holy water on, upon them today. And they've also been blessed by the dropping of the aspergillus. <laughs> and at very least, you'll have a story to tell when this is all over. Let us pray. And girls, I'm going to use a very different uh, closing prayer. It's one of my favorites but it speaks about unity and peace, which our world desperately needs. This reception of your Holy Communion, O God, foreshadows the union of the faithful, so may it bring about unity in your church, in our school, in our class, in our classrooms, and in our families. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May God be with you. And the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to announce the good news of the Lord and the celebration and the ring distribution continues. Thanks be to God. Thank you.
If you could all please have a seat. Good morning. It's glad to see so many familiar faces here on this beautiful day. It's such a highly anticipated day for everyone. Not only for you that are all sitting here in this chapel, in these pews, soon you'll be putting on those rings on your finger and for every alum who came before you, it's an anticipated day. This day means a lot every year it comes around for so many of us. The school ring is one of the most iconic symbols for Villa alumni. It's right up there with the white graduation dress, the maple ribbons. It's a bond that we all have. Throughout the decades, this ring has not changed much. And most Sacred Heart schools across the network share this same design. Being in this role as manager of alumni relations, I have heard numerous stories of how these bring, rings have brought people together. Two people, strangers one minute, to becoming lifelong Sacred Heart sisters the next. One of those stories came from an alumna who graduated from Villa in 2012. And she headed off to Tulane University in New Orleans. She was having a pretty rough go of it during her first semester. She was struggling and she was having discussions with her parents about wanting to leave. She just felt that it was not the right place for her. So one Sunday morning, she decided that she went to church early and she was kneeling and praying and she was specifically asking God what she should do about this predicament she was in. She was looking for his guidance and just then a hand reached over the pew from behind her and a young lady grabbed her hand, looked at her ring, and then turned her own hand around to show her her sacred heart ring. It was from Stone Ridge, our school in Maryland, and it showed the sacred heart emblem. And this symbol brought these two together and changed the course of that Villa Girls experience. So from then on, they became immediate friends. They graduated together from Tulane. And four years later, that has been the story that they have shared and that I have now shared over the years. That story speaks to the emblem that's on this ring that you're going to be getting. It's that open heart that represents our hearts, the heart of Jesus, and that love that we all have of the Sacred Heart. Now that I've shared the importance of the symbol of our ring and that story, I'm going to turn your attention now to two traditions. And you know, traditions is a funny word here at Villa, um, because sometimes the tradition is three years old and sometimes it's 90 years old. So this tradition has uh, come and gone over the years, so not everyone may be familiar with it. First, for you all, the class of 2025, the tradition is for you to pick 25 important people in your life. Can you think of 25 important people in your life? You think you can do that? Yeah. Start, start making a list in your mind. And what you're going to do is once you get your ring, you are going to ask those 25 people each to spin the ring on your finger 
towards your heart. So they're gonna take that ring and they're gonna spin it towards your heart, one full rotation on your finger. This is meant to bring you good luck and be surrounded by that sacred heart love for the next year until you graduate. You have until you graduate to get those 25 rotations. So you have plenty of time. The second tradition is a little bit more consistent. I think every alum knows this tradition. When you receive your ring, you are to wear it with the hearts facing toward you until you graduate. So for the next year, you're gonna wear those hearts facing towards you. There's a little booklet called The Life of the Sacred Heart, and in that booklet it says, your sacred heart education is a way of life which calls you to change and like Jesus, grow in wisdom, age, and grace. So I challenge all of you young ladies to accept this call and store every moment in your heart. And then next year at your graduation, they will tell you that it will be time to take your ring and turn it around so that the hearts then face out. And that is how you will take everything that you have learned here at Villa. And now you have filled all of that in your heart and you're going forward to share it with the rest of the world. You will show the world what it looks like through your actions to be a child of the Sacred Heart. So this Junior Ring Day is a milestone. It's important. It marks the distance you have come since your first days. So whether you have been here for 14 years, seven years, three years, it officially gives you the mark of belonging to the Sacred Heart family. Your ring is a never-ending symbol of love. Share your love with everyone you see. The world needs it. Sharing your love can be as simple as sharing a smile or something much more out of your comfort zone. So my hope for all of you is that you will continue to grow in the faith, in the hope, the love, individually, and together as a class as you go through the next year here. I know that you have heard that St. Madeline Sophie said that for the sake of one child, she would have founded the society. But how lucky are we that we are all that one child and we have that shared experience? Congratulations to the class of 2025. Good morning, everybody. It's such a special day, and as I look out on um, all of your beautiful faces, I can't, I think I speak on behalf of the whole faculty that we can't wait to see what kind of leadership you bring next year because you're a very special group of women. And as I watched your parents come through the door, um, I, I really realized why, because in so many cases, uh, I've been had a front row seat to see how your parents love you unconditionally and have supported you in so many creative ways to bring you to this moment. So it is a great day for me to be in the room um, with you and your parents, and I'm really excited for you. Now I'd like to call forth um, Dr. Nichols and Mrs. Kaplan, and we are going to bestow your school rings. Please come forward as your name is called. Bria Adams. Penny Bruner.
Marin Klein. Mia Crandall. Katie Crump. Violet Davis Dodd. Heidi Fessler. Ellie Fitzpatrick. Allison Frame. Gigi Gertner. Reagan Gem Gabrielle George Taylor Gibbs. Laura Goldschmidt. Caitlin Gomez. Grace Gorey. Lauren Gross. Ava Harper. Macy Hull. Anna Hewlett. Caroline Humes. Bennett Janoski. Grace Krager.
Morgan Craco. Anna Letterman. Olivia Massey. Ellery Miller. Elizabeth Moritz. Charlotte Murr. Megan Niemeyer. Sophia Nugent. Ava Olive. Eleanor Peterson. Catherine Powers. Victoria Sansone. Allison Schneidhorst. Jessica Schultz. Ellen Schweppe. Vanessa Trevino. Julia von der Lincoln. Emmy Weiss. Michaela West. Katie Williams. And Lucy Shockey.
Let's all congratulate the class of 2024. Congratulations, juniors. What a wonderful day. Just uh, before we head out to take photos and enjoy the day and enjoy a luncheon, I want to just draw your attention if you would like to hang on to your worship aid. Please feel free to take that with you. If not, if you would put them on the tables as you leave the chapel. There's also a card that's on one of the back tables that has all the ring presenters' names on the back as well as the address to the luncheon. So if you need that, as well as the history of uh, the, the alum seal that you will see on your ring explained. So thank you so very much for being here. We're going to have, um, as we sing uh, Cœur de Jésus, the juniors are going to head right out to the front steps for a class picture, Maison pictures, and then if families want to come back here to take photos, take photos outside, take photos at Mater, you're welcome to do so. Perfect. And let's stand and let our and dismiss our juniors.
That's not her mom. Taylor gets.